Hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I figured it was time I need to do another one. Uh, my son and I are getting ready to do a hike, so I figured uh, I would go ahead and do a video and talk about the food that I'm going to be carrying for us for the hike uh, and show you the gear that I'm going to be carrying. Uh, first up, about the hike itself, we're going to be hiking from Irwin to Hot Springs. Uh, it's like 68 miles is what the distance is, and we're planning on doing it in three days and then the leftover in the morning. So basically we're looking at about three 20 mile days and then about a eight or so mile day the last day. Um, as far as the weather, um, it's supposed to be, uh, at least according to right now, there's still plenty of time for the weather forecast to change, but right now uh, we're looking at about 30 to 50 percent chance of storms each day that we're out. Um, it's supposed to be partly sunny. Uh, highs during the days are supposed to be in the mid 80s and lows at night supposed to be about the low 60s. I figure for where we're going to be we'll be a little bit higher. Um, uh, so yeah we're looking at pretty much a wet uh, and actually not too warm of a hike for July which is going to be surprising. Um, since we're looking at such big miles for the day especially for my son um, we're packing light and not trying to start the whole uh, labeling game, but um, I was shooting for an SUL load for both of us, uh, and of course that just means our base pack weight. Uh, right now my base pack weight for what I'll be carrying is going to be about 4.73 pounds, and I think my son's base pack weight is going to be 4.87 pounds. Um, some of the gear we're kind of working, using together to, to, uh, to work out, um, but other than that, with our food weight, um, we're, we're both looking at pack weights of just barely over 12 pounds, like 12.05 and 12.07. Um, I'm going to be doing completely no cook this time, uh, so it's going to be, uh, well I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. My son is going to be cooking two meals, and I'll point those out. Um, so real quick, what I want to do is just kind of uh, reposition the camera, and I want to show you the food. Uh, that I'm going to be carrying, and then I'm going to unpack our backpacks and show you what we're carrying. Uh, also, just for the record, we are planning on hanging in hammocks as opposed to using tents this time. So, technically, this is uh, SUL hammock gear list, or a hammock SUL gear list, however you want to say it. Um, so, anyway, let me reposition the camera and I'll go over the food. Okay, so what we're looking at here is my food. Um, there's actually still a couple of things I need to buy, uh, which is why it's still laying out. Uh, my son's food I already have packed up and in his backpack, so I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. Uh, however, a lot of our food meals, you know, what we're going to eat during the day, is pretty much the same. So, uh, just kind of want to go over it with you. Also, just for a heads up, um, my... Uh, daily average as far as calories is going to be just over 2,900 calories and my son's daily average on calories for what he's bringing is going to be over it's almost 3,350 uh, calories. Um, also as far as weights um, for food weight it looks like I'm going to be carrying uh, let's see I'll be carrying about 4.7 pounds of food and my son's going to be carrying about 4.4 pounds of food. So anyway start at the top up here in this corner, I just have some uh, electrolyte drink mix. This is just the Camelback stuff. I'll add that to my water bottles uh, and drink that during the day along with regular water. And then also, this is actually going to be something that's shared between my son and I. Um, this is just some almond peanut butter and it's the vanilla bean and espresso. That way it'll kind of give us a little extra boost in energy maybe. Um, but we'll, we'll actually just use this throughout the, the, the meals that we'll be eating. Uh, we'll just take a scoop and put it on some of our granola bars, stuff like that. Um, so that's just kind of added in there. As far as breakfasts are concerned, um, what we're planning on doing is just using this. Uh, this is just the instant breakfast. Uh, it's French vanilla. And then we have some of these instant coffees, uh, iced hazelnut and French vanilla as well. Um, we'll take this and mix it in with some Neato. Uh, it's just powdered milk. We'll mix that up in a bottle in the morning, and that's pretty much going to be our breakfast. Um, also, I'm planning on eating these uh, oats and honey crunchy granola bars. And like I said, I can use some of this with that if I want to change it up just a little bit. 
Um, but anyway, that's pretty much going to be my breakfast. My son's is pretty close to the same. He's just carrying some different granola bars uh, is what he's carrying. Also, um, we have some of these emergencies. Uh, we'll each drink one a day. Um, well, my son will drink one a day. I only have two of them for me, but that'll be fine. As far as uh, during the day, what we plan on doing is just kind of snacking throughout the day. So we have several different uh, things to snack on. First off, uh, this is just some mixed nuts, and this is actually going to be three days' worth. That's a little over six ounces of nuts. Um, so that gives me two ounces per day. Um, sunflower seeds, I got these in individual bags because this is going to be in our pockets each day. Um, that's just what we'll snack on while we're walking during the day. Um, I just have some raisins that I'm going to be eating. I have some dried apples I dried here at home myself. I have some cream cheese and chives uh, crackers. And then I have just some of these uh, gluten-free, kind of all-natural uh, fruit leathers. And then uh, what I'm really looking forward to, this is some Mountain America jerky. I have uh, three different packs for each day. They're all different. Uh, I actually exchanged some emails with Chuck Watson from Mountain America Jerky uh, not too long ago, and I was impressed by uh, the, all the different options of jerky he had. He seemed to be a really good guy. Uh, so I placed an order for um, their 10-pack sampler. Uh, he actually threw in a couple of extra ones for me to try, too. Uh, so I definitely want to give a big shout-out to him. Uh, you know, he's seemed a nice guy. We've ate several of these different jerkies already, and they've been really good, so I'm really looking forward to these. And uh, These actually range anywhere between 65 and 110 calories or so per packet. Uh, just depends on which ones you got. Um, but I'll be carrying some turkey. I got some venison here, and I also have some alligator jerky. Um, that's the three that I decided to carry with me. My son will be carrying three different flavors of beef jerky. Uh, but anyway, that is going to be all of my snacks that I'm just going to snack on throughout the day. Uh, also, we are planning to carry some of this uh, Baby Bell cheese. Uh, this is the mozzarella flavor. That will focus in there. Uh, this is the mozzarella flavor. We're also going to pick up some of the original. That way we'll have a mozzarella and original carry each day. Um, and that's what we're planning on doing throughout the day. Like I said, my son's is pretty much identical to what I'm carrying. Um, he's just carrying different... Uh, instead of the fried or the the uh, dried apples, he's carrying uh, some different granola bars and stuff again. Uh, as far as our dinners, um, I've got all of my dinners. Uh, I went to let me see here. Um, it's called Trail Cooking. Uh, Sarah Kirk Connell is the lady that does the Trail Cooking blog. Uh, she does a lot of the freezer bag cooking meals and stuff like that. But anyway, I was looking for something for me. Uh, that was no cook. Uh, not to save weight or anything, but honestly just because I was planning on temperatures so warm, uh, hot meals isn't something that I'm necessarily after at this time of the year. So uh, each night what I have, the first night, and I still have to get some of the items, is I'm going to have some uh, tuna and avocado sammies. I'm going to buy some bread uh, just before I go. I've got uh, some albacore tuna here, and I'm going to buy an avocado before I leave. Uh, and then at the campsite all I'll do is just peel the avocado take the, the big seed out the middle and then I'll just put this this tuna and some of the avocado on the pieces of bread and I'll eat that so I'm really looking forward to that uh, the second night I'm planning on eating this pepperoni pasta salad um, and this is just some ramen noodles with some dried vegetables it's got some uh, pepperoni slices in there of course some parmesan cheese and some ranch dressing and I did I didn't buy this uh, these are items I picked up uh, and I packaged them myself. Uh, and these are some old um, Ziploc bags that Lawson Klein uh, sent me. It's been several months ago, maybe even a year. Uh, they're actually food grade bags, so it's okay to eat out of them. Uh, however, it's all going to be cold water, so it's not going to be heating up anything in there. And then I just have some uh, olive oil that I'll be using uh, just to kind of supplement in each of my meals. Uh, and then this one, I still have to go and pick up the rest of the items. It's a spring pasta salad. Um, I've got some uh, just peas coming, dried peas coming today. i got to go pick up a little more Raymond and then a couple of other, uh, like, true lemon and stuff like that. But that'll be, that'll be my last night. And like I said, all this is going to be approximately 2,900 calories for me, uh, daily average. Uh, and I think that it's going to be plenty for me. 
So, uh, like I said, my sons already have packed up, so what I want to do now is just kind of uh, show you the backpacks uh, and just kind of go over real quick some of the gear that we'll be using and carrying with us and show you what each of us is carrying. So, let me reposition the camera one more time. Okay, so as far as packs, uh, you can see I've got both of our packs here. Uh, this one's going to be mine and this one's going to be my son's. Uh, both of these are Z-Pack Zero backpacks. This is the extra small that I'll be using, uh, and this is the small that my son will be using. Uh, before I go into his, I want to go through mine, just simply because mine's completely not packed up the way it is. Um, I have everything inside here that I'm going to be carrying. The only thing I don't have in here uh, is my food, and if you're wondering how much room I have left, um, I'm pretty much going to so from about here to here. Uh, so not quite half, but I still have, uh, I don't know, easily a third of the backpack left as far as room is concerned. So I have plenty of room for what I'm going to be carrying with me. So real quick, I'll just go ahead and take everything out. Um, and since I don't have my food in here, of course, this isn't packed exactly how I'm going to carry it. Um, so I'll start on the outside. Uh, the first thing, this is just some closed cell phone pad I got at Walmart. I just cut it uh, just enough to sit on so I don't have to sit on the ground, especially now that it's going to be all wet and yucky. Um, I have the Lost and Klein Dew Scoop. I uh, got that. And then I've got the tent stakes. This is enough tent stakes for both mine and my son's tarp. And then I've got my REI Long Handle Titanium Spoon that I'll be using. Uh, and that's all I have in the outside pocket. On the inside, um, this is the food bag that I'm going to be putting all of my food in once I'm ready to pack it up. Um, this is just a Z-Pack, so I think it's the medium dry bag. Uh, and then I have a light trail food, food liner bag inside it. Um, but anyway, that's the food bag that I'll be carrying. Um, this is my Go Light Poncho Tarp. Uh, I'm going to be using this, of course, as my rain gear. Like I mentioned, we're possibly looking at a pretty good bit of rain while we're gone. Um, so I'll be using this in conjunction with my MLD light snow gaiters um, as far as keeping me dry. Uh, also, if it's not raining at night, I can use this as a basic ASIM tarp to throw over my hammock. Uh, and then I can use this if it's raining or if it's really bad weather. Uh, I can just use this in conjunction with the tarp my son's carrying and we'll both easily be able to fit up under there uh, and stay good and dry. So that's that. Um, this is just a lock sack for my iPhone. Uh, I'm going to be using my iPhone, like I say, to do videos and take pictures and everything. So uh, if it does rain, I'll be able to throw us in there if I absolutely have to to keep it dry. Uh, this is just a gallon Ziploc bag I'll use as a garbage bag to put all our garbage in. Um, this is some uh, guy line uh, that I can use to hang my poncho tarp as a tarp, uh, as well as an extra, just a real short whoopee. It's probably about four and a half feet long uh, in case I need any extra length uh, between the two trees that I'm using to hang my hammock. Um, this is toilet paper, wet wipes, and germ eggs, and this is enough for both me and my son to use. Uh, so I'll be carrying that. Um, I am carrying my filter. I've got a little, uh, just a scoop. Uh, as much as it's been raining, I don't think I'll need the scoop, but it's possible, so I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Um, my Sawyer Mini water filter. I love this thing. Um, and then, of course, a 2-liter Sawyer Squeeze bag. Uh, I can use this, of course, to filter my water into our Gatorade bottles. Uh, as well as collect water to carry with me to camp so I have enough for preparing our meals and cleaning up or anything like that. Um, a ditty bag. Uh, this is again items in here for both my son and I. Uh, inside here I've got some earplugs for myself. I've got uh, toothbrushes for both of us. I've got some gold bond powder. I've got a little uh, Swiss Army knife, classic knife. I've got some uh, not that I don't think my son will need it, uh, but possibly for me, body glide. Uh, and then I've got, you know, basic first aid stuff, a couple of band-aids, uh, some blister pads, some duct tape, some ibuprofen and stuff like that. Uh, and I have all that in here. And again, that's going to be for both of us. Um, 
Let's see, I have a couple of things here. This is just some Z-Line from Z-Pack, so I'll use it to hang our food bags at night. Uh, this is an Anchor 6400 milliamp uh, battery charger. Like I said, I'm going to be using my iPhone. So uh, with this, I can charge my iPhone from about 20% three times. So uh, that should be all I need. Uh, this is just a small cord to charge my iPhone. Uh, my awesome ZebraLite uh, H51 headlamp. And then this is just a two-cut uh, Ziploc bag or bowl. Uh, I'll use this to measure out water uh, to eat from if I have to, which I'm probably not going to do that. But also to carry my avocado uh, to use on the first night uh, to kind of help protect it. Also something I can use to kind of mush it up uh, so before I spread it on my sammies. Um, other than that, I have the hammock, uh, which Craig Smith made for me. I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, it's an awesome hammock. It's made from Nylon D 1.0 from Dutchware. Uh, it's about 10 feet long. I can't remember, 56 inches wide or so. Uh, I have two continuous uh, loops, about 24 inches long, on both ends. And then I'm using some 8-foot Kevlar straps from Dutchware. Uh, and I'll use the Beckett hitch in order to suspend the hammock. Um, so I've got that there. Uh, other than that, this is my orange carry quilt. Uh, Tim from Enlightened Equipment made for me a couple of years ago. Uh, it's a great summer weight bag uh, or quilt, not a bag, uh, but I'll be using that inside the hammock if I need it. Uh, and then other than that, it's the backpack and a, another white trail. This is a pack liner inside there. So that's everything that I'm carrying. So I'm going to get this cleared away and then I'm going to show you what my son's carrying. Okay. Uh, so my son, as far as what he's going to be carrying, first off, this is the, like I said, the Z-Pack Zero Small uh, Backpack. And it's also, it's the exact same as my Extra Small, it's just a size small, so it's slightly bigger. Uh, it weighs about 1.8 ounces more. Um, and the biggest reason for that is because I have added on this uh, hip belt, which is one reason I want to let him carry this one, just in case he wants a little extra support. Uh, however, his total pack weight is just over 12 pounds. So I don't think that he'll be needing that. Um, but anyway, I just want to go through it real quick, same way I did, just show you what he's using. Um, because some of this, like I said, is kind of shared. So, go ahead and open it up here. Uh, on the outside pocket, another sit pad, same as the one I'm carrying. And uh, four ounces of denatured alcohol. Uh, four ounces is, is way overkill. He's going to cook. Uh, two meals um, and two ounces is going to be all that he really needs for that. But just in case, or in case we want to do a fire and we want to, uh, we have a hard time getting it started, we've got a little extra alcohol that we can sacrifice. So, uh, and that's all that he's got in the outside pocket on this pack. To open it up, he's got the cloud kilt. This is the Z Pax cloud kilt, uh, rain kilt. He'll be using that. In conjunction with this, this is the Dry Ducks Emergency uh, Poncho. Um, typically, he would have used the Go Light Poncho, but um, this one is much shorter than the Go Light Poncho, and it fits him as far as length uh, a lot better than it does me, so I'm using the Go Light Poncho tarp, uh, and he's going to use this. Um, I am going to, I bought some Velcro, and I'm going to fix it up with some Velcro, Velcro strips. Uh, so that he can kind of pull the back around and Velcro it so that it kind of helps it keep it from flopping around. Um, so anyway, that's going to be his rain gear there. Um, and then this is his uh, first day of snacks, at least most of it. Um, we just got all that kind of at the top so when we get into it we don't have to dig way down deep into the bag. Uh, but that's his first day of snacks. And then the first thing we have on top is his food bag. And uh, I went over the food and stuff. This is everything packed up. Um, mine is going to be just a little bit bigger than this because uh, I think I've got more bulk. However, he's got denser food. So he's actually got more calories per ounce than I do. Uh, but anyway, this is his food bank. So. Um, next, I've got everything again and another pack liner from Light Trail. I'll show you what's in there. 
This is another lock sack that he'll be able to put his phone in. He's got an iPhone 5, so it fits there. Um, he has a Princeton Tech. Uh, this is a fuel. This is a really old headlamp. Uh, but it's a good headlamp, and he likes it, so that's the headlamp he's going to be using. He also has a 2-liter Sawyer bag. Um, he's not carrying a filter. We're both going to uh, share the same filter, but we do both have 2-liter bags. That way we've got plenty of capacity for water. That's um, not counting our Gatorade bottles. That's 4 liters of water. We'll be able to bring the camp with us if we need to. And like I said, he's cooking um, some meals. So the cook pot that he opted for, I've got a bunch of different cook kits, and this is the one that he decided he wants to carry. Um, it's just a Cuban stuff sack. This is the 0.9 liter Evernew cook pot. And inside here, he's got a folding MSR spoon. Uh, this is an MSR pack light towel. Um, it's got a mini big. And then, of course, the Starlight stove. A little scrub brush because he's going to cook two of his meals in the pot. And then this is the Sidewinder called Ericom. So this is the option that he wanted to use. I let him look through and try several different ones, and this is the one that he wanted to use. So I'm really excited he picked out such a good system. Um, so anyway, that's going to be his cook kit there. Next, this is the Appalachian Hammock. I, f I forget what they call it. It's like the Big Seal Ultralight Tarp or whatever. Not really ultralight uh, with, with the guy lines and everything. It's 16 ounces. Um, and uh, it's it, it works, it'll do a good job, um, but eventually I probably need to get a lighter uh, hammock tarp. Uh, but anyway, this is the one that he'll use for now. Um, like I said, I can use my Build Like Poncho tarp to throw over one end, and it gives us plenty of room, I think. Uh, of course, it's not going to be a palace, but it'll give us plenty of room to be able to get away from the weather. Uh, and stay good and dry up underneath both of those. So he's killing that. Um, this is the Bias or Buttness Lane Weight Winning Micro Hammock. Uh, he's carrying that. He's got a 10 foot and a 6 foot strap inside there. And he opted to use the big carabiners just because he didn't like running all the knots quite as well. I need to work on him on that. Uh, but anyway, that's the hammock that he's going to be using. I will say that this is a long hammock, uh, it's 11 foot. And I kind of wish I had a 10-foot hammock for him to use uh, because I think that would be better. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, other than that, he's going to be carrying his, like I said, his iPhone 5 and some earbuds because he likes to listen to music. Um, and then the only other thing in here, this is the Hammock Gear 50-degree burrow quilt, top quilt. Uh, he's carrying that to use uh, in his hammock. And then other than that, just his... Uh, the z packs small zero backpack and the light trail liner and that's pretty much it so there it is that's our uh hammock super ultralight gear list uh again just to let you know uh his base pack weight is like 4.83 pounds uh and then with his food water and he is carrying fuel he's at 12.07 pounds um for mine uh, everything I showed you, um, I'm at like 4.7 something pounds, uh, base pack weight. Uh, and then with all my food and water and everything, uh, I'll be, I'm not carrying fuel, I'll be at 12.05 pounds. Um, like I said, um, we're looking at possibly a wet hike, but we're going to be covering, uh, like I said, on average about 20 miles a day. Um, so we should stay good and warm, I think, with the temperatures we're going to be having. Um, but anyway, that's it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be using my iPhone to do some videos and pictures. So depending on how that works out, will depend on my trip report that I put up um, after I get back. It probably won't be any time quick after I get back either. Um, but I'll probably be posting some pictures and stuff to my blog's Facebook page and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, so that's it. I know it's a long video, but anybody that's watched my videos knows that they typically are. So for everybody hung in there, I'm glad that you did. I appreciate your support. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to uh, post those below and I'll get back to you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.